Hello everybody, my name is Ahsen Bunser. I'm an associate professor with habilitation and qualified for professorship at the University of Western Brittany in France. My research topics are one, developing tools for parallel and physical simulation and code generation of wireless sensor networks dedicated to smart cities and Internet of Things. Two, modeling and simulating radio propagation and radio interferences in wireless sensor networks. Three, developing distributed algorithms for boundary nodes and cluster determination in connected, connected Euclidean graphs. Four, multivariate statistical modeling for 40 node and 40 measure detection in wireless sensor networks and for the prediction of missing data. We have developed two platforms. The first one is called Cube Carbon, which is a wireless sensor network simulator dedicated to smart cities and Internet of Things. The second one is Swedia, which is developed for gestational diabetes monitoring. In my talk in ICFID 2017, I will present the Cube Carbon simulator. I will present a new algorithm called DLPCN for distributed least polar angle connected node used to determine the boundary nodes of a wireless sensor networks and I will show how to simulate it in Cape Carbon. All these works are a part of the French project ANR Perceptor which I am coordinating. In the future we will connect more and more objects and devices, like for example, sensors, persons, homes, cars, lights, everything. All these devices will send data between them. The main problem problematic in such systems is indeed security. So, how can we guarantee that each data is sent safely and without any interception? Or, how to be sure that the sender is not a hacker. This kind of problematics is very sensitive and without tolerance in the case of healthcare applications or for any application where human life and privacy are exposed to other persons. In addition, these problematics can be, unfortunately, very dangerous in terms of cyber criminality. So, cyber security should be our main concern. Another very important problematic is wireless signals. As it is expected that in the near future, more than 50% of the population will live in cities, we will end up with an important number of devices and wireless standards, sharing our infrastructures and environment like, for example, 3G, 4G, 5G, Bluetooth, Zigbee, LoRa, Sigfox, and so on. This will lead to two additional problematics. The first one is signal interferences, and the second one is health problems. In conclusion, the future challenges in internet technologies are, one, how to guarantee personal and private data security. Two, how to guarantee reliable and dense wireless systems without interference risks. Three, how to guarantee health systems without dangerously overloaded signals. The main trends are, one, healthcare applications, like for example, telemedicine, remote monitoring, assistance for people with reduced mobility, and so on. Two, quick assistance, like for example, car accident, fire detection and prediction, on-site intervention, and so on. Three, efficient city monitoring, like for example, pollution, parking management, smart grids, and so on. To my understanding, Many technologies will coexist in the available spectrum, each corresponding to different scenario or use cases as foreseen in 5G. 
For example, enhanced mobile broadband, massive machine communications, mission critical communications, broadcast or multicast services, vehicular communications. It seems that the introduction of these technologies and use cases will be incremental and defined by 3GPP standard through several releases and phases during the next years. For example, in the release 15, which should be fixed by 3GPP till September 2018, the target is to support the use cases enhanced mobile broadband and some low latency and high reliability capabilities with frequency range below 6 GHz or above 6 GHz. I'm not sure that we can identify at this stage what technologies will dominate 5G. There are several scenarios and use cases which have been identified for now, and the standardization bodies, 3GPP, are working now to define the technologies that will enable these use cases. Many candidates exist in terms of new technologies which will be examined and decided by the standardization bodies at the end.